Wow. Yeah. I think um, if you look at all the science that's out there and you listen to Mark Hyman and Joseph Mercola and all the- I love both of those guys. Okay. So yeah. Um, and you know, they're trying to, and they have been for years to trumpet to everybody to understand inflammation is the issue. The endothelial dysfunction that arises from sleep apnea, the damage to the lining of your arteries and everybody fixated on fats and sugars and all of these things are can be inflammatory. However, sleep apnea independently of diet and nutrition and all of these things has a huge effect on systemic inflammation, making somebody become acidotic and creating just general dysfunction in every organ. Like, is there literally any part of our body that can thrive in a hypoxic environment? No. All, all tissue needs oxygen, right? However, the there is a part of our body that potentially could thrive in a hypoxic environment and that would be cancer. That would be tumor cells, right? It thrives in that hypoxic acidic environment. 